Hello, my name is Mengo, and today I want to show you a simple 20 blocks per second Minecraft travel. So it's yet another stress locator, and those have been done to death. I made a lot of videos about those, about faster ones, and also yeah, a lot of other people showed them. But still, just yesterday I found something new that I want to share. So yeah, at first it looks quite trivial, so you just have a line of pistons that are powered um, with comparators. And yeah, so why is this special? Um, I haven't seen anybody show it yet, and I just discovered it the other day. Um, for example, you would try this with um, a simple monostable and repeaters, it wouldn't work. So as you can see here, the minecart gets stuck. And also, uh, if I would replace some comparators, repeaters for example, it also wouldn't work. So the minecart also gets stuck. And yeah, so why is this not trivial? Um, it needs a special pulse generator. Um, so I just pull this block up, the sand block, then it's in block form for two game ticks before it falls down, and this creates a special pulse um, that works with those translocators. So I guess this is the no, most simple way to make a 20 blocks per second, 100% reliable minecart translocator. Um, it's worth noting that this one um, kind of works with the player, but yeah, those translocators aren't reliable um, for player. So you need the server-side timings of a minecart. Yeah, it kind of works, but it's just unreliable. So I think it's quite obvious how to build this. Um, we have this tector rail here, then for game ticks of delay, this redstone torch powers the sticky piston, and we have this powered redstone dot. And then, yeah, alternate um, blocks with pistons next to it, and then um, comparators. Um, for example, you always have a minecart ready, um, waiting for you. you. Could also use this with a button. It's yeah, it's quite simple. Just need some kind of a station. Then you could, oops. Sorry, then you could replace that the button here. Then, if you get in, wait a little, and then it also works. So, you could also use the same sand method to make a fast elevator. So, this is a 20 blocks per second uh, MyGod elevator. So go in here, then it'll take you up yeah, quite quickly. And uh, a lot of people have shown something similar, for example, the Biker Extreme and Mine Guy 31, so shout out to those guys. Um, but they showed 10 blocks per second versions, and if you just make it a little, little bit bigger, then you can easily make a 20 blocks per second version. And yeah, it also uses the sand block here, it gets pulled up. So uh, I think this is even more obvious how to build. So again, with the powered redstone dot, this is just a sand block, a sticky piston here, those can be uh, yeah, normal pistons. Then you need a comparator here, uh, wouldn't work with repeater. And then you just have a torch tower going up, and at every unpowered torch, I take out uh, output with a comparator here. And yeah, after four blocks, it alternates. So here we have comparator output, and we power the piston below, just for a line of redstone. Yeah, like this. Um, you could also make a player elevator out of it, which isn't reliable, which would be 30 blocks per second. So as you can see here. Yeah, this time it even worked. So you have a quite a good chance to make uh, yeah, small distances. But if you make this longer and it depends how good your connection is and so on, this might fail. But yeah, it worked twice even. So it seems quite reliable. Let's try it once more. Okay, so this one is quite reliable in single player. I don't know how it would react on a server. Um, this is even one wide tileable. You could also make that one wide tileable. It just has to be two blocks longer. Um, so here's how you build it. You need a button at the bottom, then redstone block, sticky piston. Could even replace it with a sand block and a normal piston. Then repeater, then the redstone dust goes up like this. 
That was the first piston, then again we have the sand block and yeah, then we have the torch tower which is just stretched out with the dust and we take the outputs. And last but not least, you could also use this to make a downwards 20 blocks per second minecart um, a yeah, downwards elevator, um, it's, which is a lot faster than just falling. So you can see here. Yep. And if you don't have a rail down there, um, you would take fall damage. So if you have a rail um, three blocks below the last piston, um, you don't take fall damage in survival mode. So this one is quite similar, and this is how I wire it. It's of course up to you. You could also use a make a button version for example and yeah so again we have the powered sticky piston with the sand below which gets powered once it's pulled up and then we have this alternating yeah, torch pattern which goes down and we take the output from the blocks um, there's a power torch attached so the block is unpowered and then we have uh, we power this line of redstone directly with the unpowered torch and then again we take the output from the block and so on all the way down so it's four wide at the bottom okay thanks for watching hope you liked this video have a good day and goodbye